Welcome everyone. This is Dina from the Marx Group Live, and I'm happy to be reviewing a class on the quote, one of the functionalities within Zoho CRM. After the video is over, feel free to email us at support at marxgrouplive.com with any questions you have about this video or any of the other ones, you you, any other questions about Zoho. Also, be sure to rate this class because it helps out your fellow Zoho users and it also helps us improve our, our video library. Let's go to the key takeaways for today. So just to make sure we're all on the same page, a quote is an agreement between a vendor and a customer for the sale of a product or products within a certain time frame and at a set price. Zoho has a quotes module, but you can also access or create quotes from the accounts, deals, or contacts modules. You can also create and choose different templates for when you're ready to give the quote to the customer. And you can do that either by email or by um, printing a PDF out. Let's go into Zoho now and I can show you where everything is. So we have the quotes module here, um, which is highlighted. And now you can see that these quotes have shown up. So if I click on a quote, this Joe Jones ski shop quote, you can see that we have a quote number we have quote stages and you can change these. We have draft, negotiation, delivered, on hold, confirmed, closed one, or closed lost. So depending on where you are in working this quote, you can change the stage at any time. Quote owner, um, that would be me right now as the live admin. If I had added in a valid until, you would be able to see a date here. We choose the carrier from the drop down. And then we have the grand total for what this quote is. And as I mentioned before, there are other areas that you can access quotes from. The accounts and the contacts are two of those areas. And then you can also um, access it from the deals as well. If we scroll down further, we see some of the same basic information about, the quote, about this quote being from Joe Jones Ski Shop. And then you have the address information. And you can add in billing information or and or shipping information. And then we get into the product details. And this is where you would add in either um, the products that you want. And what I did here is I have two different line items of two different products. And if you hover over the product name, you can see that you get some information around the unit price as well as the quantity in stock. And you can see we have quantity in stock is 210. But then if we move down, we can see that the actual quantity ordered here is 23. So the 23 relative to this 210 means that we shouldn't have any inventory problems. We also get a job a description of the product um, here as well. And you can always edit this as well. Then we have the widgets as your second product. And here we have 195 in stock. And we're only ordering three, so we should be OK there. And then as you move down, you can see the subtotal, which is subtotaling the total for each of these two line items uh, and giving you the grand total as well if we had discount tax or any adjustments in there. Then you can add in terms and conditions if you want. Um, you can add in a description and any notes you want. And then what's nice here is that then if you click on the three dots, you can see that you have print preview and export to PDF or send an email. So if we were to go into print preview, this is where you can see that we have um, we have diff a few different templates. So if we were to choose the quote template, you can see that um, this now gives a logo and it looks a lot better than just a blank, you know, blank piece of paper. And you can say, view this as an HTML here or as a PDF. PDF view is a little bit different. And what you can also do in the PDF is you can also change it to land, landscape as well. And you can print it here as well if you wanted to mail this out. Um, another important part of a quote is once you know that the customer, if let's say you've you know changed the, the uh, stage to confirmed or closed one, then what you want to do is you want to convert this quote into either a sales order or an invoice. Um, if, you, if you convert it first into a sales order, it will not change the inventory yet. But if you were to change this into an invoice, that would mean it's being shipped and the invoice, the uh, 
inventory would change on this order as well. So I'm going to convert this to a um, sales order, click, and then you can again, if from the sales order, click convert it into an invoice. But I'm going to go, go back to the quote and just show you quickly that you, how you can add a quote as well. So again, here we have the required information is the subject. In this case, we could say Joe Jones quote. And then we can make sure that the account name we find is Joe Jones. And you can choose that. You can add the contact, which would be Jane Jones. And we can choose a deal. We can just choose this test deal. Um, and then if you, you can choose which stage you want this to be. And as you saw, you can change that later on. We can put some information in on the address. And what's good to see here is that you can then copy the address. You can copy the billing to the shipping, so that way you don't have to uh, repeat the same information again. And then what you would do here, like we showed you before, is you would then add your product lines. And here, let's, let's type in, we'll just use the same once again, we'll use a better widget. We can then, if you, when you're entering in the quantity, similar to what we saw in the other um, quote, you can click on this I and you can see how much inventory there is. And you can see that right now quantity in stock is 210. In demand, which means probably um, ready to be ordered, is about 74. So if we were to put another 25 in here, we'd be fine. And we can add that, add that to here. And you can see here, this is similar to what we saw before. And again, if you hover over the name of the product, you will then again see the product quantity. And then you have the amount we have in here. And then you can adjust things like the discount as well. And if you wanted to, maybe you want to change this description for this specific quote, you can do that in here as well. You can add additional line items if you want, but I'm not going to for now because I just want to show you how you can, what you can do here. Again, this is where you put in your terms and conditions maybe related to how quickly you want to get paid, any other description information that you want to do, and then you'd be able to save that quote. Once you save that quote, what I was mentioning earlier, I just wanted to show you here, you would still have the ability to link to the accounts and the contacts, and before we didn't have deal, but now we do. So you could click on the test deal, Jane Jones and the contact or the account name, and then you'll be able to get to the quote from there as well. And then again, you can print out, you can choose how you want to deliver this to the customer. And then when you're ready to, you can convert this lead as well. So let's just go back now to our takeaways that we were going to cover. So as we mentioned, um, and as you saw, a quote is an agreement between a vendor and a customer for the sale of a product within a certain time frame and at a set price. Zoho has a quotes module, but you can also access or create quotes, as you saw, from the accounts, deals, or contact modules. And then you can choose the different templates or how you want to send the quote to the customer, either by email or by um, printing it out and mailing it. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, and please check out our video library for other training videos. If you have any suggestions for other classes, or you have questions about Zoho, please feel free to email us at support at marksgrouplive.com. Thanks for watching.